This week we'll be going over all of the achievements in Hard Space Shipbreaker. Those of you that have been around the channel for a little bit may know that yes, we did do a Hard Space Shipbreaker achievement guide before, but with the 1.0 release, they did add a whole bunch of new achievements. So this is going to be an updated version with all of those old ones as well as all of the new achievements. Because of this update and all the people that have completed it before, the time to complete is a little bit off, but the average is currently just under 59 hours. And as for the points that it's currently worth on achievement tracking websites, it is currently worth 74 over on ASTATS, 6,506 points over on Steam Hunters, and 28,345 on Metagamer Score. And now let's get to hunting. You can get all of these achievements on the easiest difficulty, so feel free to do that when starting the game, as there are none that are going to be tied to doing it on harder difficulties. The first one you'll get is No Ninos for completing the tutorial. The game starts out with you getting introduced to your job as a shipbreaker and finding out that you're over $1 billion in debt from all the fees that come from starting that job. Then you'll start going through a pretty long tutorial to teach you the basics of shipbreaking, and once you get through all of that, you'll get let loose to finish breaking your ship, as well as get this achievement. Next we'll get a tuck tail for finding the hidden data drive. This is actually super easy to find, but it's in a spot that you'd never go naturally. When you come out of the hab, you're gonna be at the kiosk, and from there you can come out from the hab station, move around the side to the back of it, and taped right down here you'll find this data drive. That thing was right under your nose the whole time. Or I guess under your, your bed or something, I don't, I don't know. If you have any issues finding it, you can always just wait until you have the object scanner and then look for it that way, whichever's easier. Then we can get the Killer of Carbonog for collecting a bunny stuffed animal. This is random, but you'll occasionally find little stuffed bunnies on the ships that you break down. Just go up to one of these and pick it up and you'll get this achievement. These are also used for some of the steps of repairing the ship that you're given, which you're going to need to do for some later achievements. Speaking of Ship Doctor, there's also going to be a successful procedure for gaining one repair level on the Ship Doctor. This is done from your terminal where you read your messages, and you can steal parts from the ships that you're salvaging to keep repairing it. The first level is all that's going to be needed for this achievement though. For Breathe In, Breathe Out, you're going to need to recharge your O2. For this, you will have to have your O2 draining turned on. It'll slowly be draining as you're out working on your current ship, but then you'll just need to come back to the kiosk outside of the hab and refill your oxygen. Next will be Let's Patch Things Up for using a suit patch kit. Another pretty simple one, you'll find plenty of these little suit patch kits on the walls mounted in ships. Just go pick one up and this achievement will pop. Then we'll go over a couple of the damaging achievements, starting with it's heating up for receiving fire damage. This one is pretty easy to get, especially if you're kind of trash at video games like me, but all you really need to do is just use your cutter on something to burn it up, and move through the flames before it goes out. Similarly to that, we have Truly Shocking for receiving electricity damage. If you damage an electrical item, it'll start shooting electricity out, and you just have to move into it to take some damage. And then the last of these specific damage achievements would be Breaking Ice for receiving cold damage. The easiest way to do this is just find one of these coolant things and cut it with your cutter, and it'll start shooting out coolant. Just float into it then, and you'll take a little bit of damage. For I can fix it, you'll need to repair a tool. As you're doing your rounds salvaging ships, you're gonna end up back to your hab each day to take a rest. While using your tools, you'll slowly have them degrade, so naturally you're gonna need to repair them. In your hab, you can go right over here to this bench and repair one of your tools for this achievement. Then while you're out breaking down ships, you can get post snow bills for collecting a poster. You'll come across a lot of posters sitting on the walls, just go up to one and pick it up for this achievement. Once you unlock Atlas class ships, you can get Critical Thinker for successfully salvaging a reactor. The basics to this one would just be to clear out space around it before taking it off, and then quickly toss it down into the barge. Now if you made it this far, you've probably liked the guide up to this point. So I'll do the YouTuber thing and ask that you like the video, subscribe, and comment down below to let me know that you've made it this far. And if you want to go a step further, hit the join button below the video to join the member club for as little as 99 cents to help fund future video production. Now, let's get back into it.
The weight of the world is for completing all salvage goals on an Atlas-class ship. That means you'll need to start your shift and choose an Atlas-class ship which you'll have unlocked at rank 4 and can tell the class by the naming right here. Once out in the salvage yard, you'll have your salvage goals up on that top bar so you'll need to correctly salvage enough parts to get past that fifth goal for this achievement. None of these ships are really that hard to do once you kind of figure it out, but the Atlas class ship is especially easy. This early on, all you'll really need to worry about when it comes to major damage is the small reactor inside and the quasar thrusters in the back. When it comes to the thrusters, you'll just need to go to the back of the ship, take the thruster nozzle off of the thruster, and then you'll have to do this next part very precisely and quickly to avoid any explosions. You'll need to attach a tether to the quasar thruster at the back and bring it straight back to the back wall of the station. Once you have that tether set up, you can quickly use your cutter to burn off the cutting points of the fuel lines to the quasar thruster. You have to be really quick here as this is the big part that can explode if you go too slowly. As soon as the thruster is freed and comes flying back, you're going to need to fly down into the area of the fuel pipes all the way to the back to flush the fuel valve. Then repeat that process for any other quasar thrusters and then you can process those parts. For the reactor, this is actually pretty simple to do when you're this early on. Just make sure you have enough space cleared out around it to take it out and throw it onto the barge. As long as you do that pretty quickly, it's super easy to get these safely salvaged. Then Act 1 Complete will be for completing Act 1 of the campaign. This unlocks about when you get to rank 7, once you come back to the hab you're going to get your level up and go through the motions of sleeping and getting back up for a new day. You'll get a message that you're going to have a new supervisor coming in after the talk about a union forming to make sure that that doesn't happen. That's going to get us into Act 2 of the game, which is the longest act by far. Next will be always finding your mark for completing all salvage goals on a Javelin class ship. Javelin class ships you'll unlock once you're at rank 5, and honestly these are even easier to salvage than the Atlas class ships when it comes to the dangerous systems that they have. Of course, first is going to be to depressurize any compartments as safely as possible, and then generally for the beginning ones it's just going to be one small reactor that isn't too hard to get rid of, and a class 2 thruster which you essentially just need to go to the back, take off the thruster cap, and then remove the thruster from the inside. On some of them, you may also have to go inside the ship to hit the switch to release the thruster. Then, of course, just get all of the salvage goals at the top to get this achievement. Bing Bang Boom is for unlocking demo charges. You'll just need to grind your way up to rank 11, and once you're there, Hal will come over the radio in the morning to let you know that he's going to be giving out some demo charges, and you'll do your training on those. Then, since we have the Javelin class ships available, we can get a drop in the ocean for collecting a credit drive. Technically, you can find these green drives on all kinds of ships, but I found it extremely rare unless you go to one of the Javelin-class cargo ships like this one. Then, just use your object scanner to see if there's a drive somewhere, and generally it would be in the captain's area under the chair like this one. Fire and brimstone you can get for reading a message about the furnace god. Pretty much all you need to do for this is just fly into the furnace a couple of times, and eventually you'll get this message about the furnace god at your terminal. Then we have Gecko Goal Getter for completing all salvage goals on a Gecko class ship. This is just like with the Atlas and the Javelin, but for the Geckos, you're going to have about 9 goals to meet. You'll unlock being able to get these as jobs once you reach rank 14. With these, you're going to need to first go ahead and get the depressurizing done so that you can move through the rest safely. Once that's done, these will generally have some class 2 thrusters in the back, which you'll need to flip the switch to release them, and then you can safely remove them and process. They're also generally going to have a big reactor in the back, being cooled by an ECU somewhere in the ship. So you'll first want to clear out the hole to where you have easy access to the containment area of the reactor, and then go find the ECU. Take off the access panel, remove the coolant that's inside, and that's going to start the meltdown. You then just go over to the reactor and either remove the panels around it to free it, or possibly cut some of the parts around it to free it so that you can toss it in the barge below. Now they're also going to have a power generator strapped somewhere, which is going to have red lights around it until you remove the fuses nearby. Each of these fuses will be flashing their three lights, and you're going to want to wait until all of them are off so that you can hit the button to flip the switch and release the fuse. Keep doing that with the three or so fuses, and then the power generator will be safe to remove. Now for the last dangerous part on these ships, we have the radiation filters. 
For these, you're basically just going to want to clear out space around it, cut the part that's around the filter holding it in, and then quickly throw it down into the barge. Other than that, it's all about the same as the other ships, just a lot bigger. Now at this point, it'll be a while before we get the next achievement. While you're grinding, you're going to want to make sure that you keep on grabbing parts to repair the ship that Weaver gives you and get that repaired. You'll want to try to have that done before the end of Act 2 to make it quick near the end, but just try to grind it as much as possible. At rank 16, you'll unlock ghost ships and can get I Ain't Afraid of No Ghost for destroying an AI node. You'll just need to choose to work on a ghost ship and then these little devices with red lights will be the AI nodes in question. Just burn one with your cutter and you'll get this achievement. Then for the ghost in the ship achievement, you'll need to read the machine god's message. While you have that first ghost ship out, go ahead and go inside of it to find the floating helmet. Pick this up and you'll have the first entry into the ghost ship logs. You're gonna need to get six of these helmets from ghost ships for the machine god message to show up on that terminal. For Act 2 complete, you'll need to complete Act 2 of the campaign. This is going to unlock around rank 17 or 18 depending on how many jobs you're doing, and once you get somewhere around 1 billion or less in debt. Once you hit rank 17, it should start going through some storyline comms between everyone, and what I'd do is just take a job, get enough salvage to make up for your equipment rentals, and then go back to the hab and get a new ship. This will keep causing more storylines to trigger, and if you end up not having anything come up after that, go ahead and grind up to level 18, and then keep on repeating that until you finally get the cutscene where Lou is fired and your personal ship is taken away. This is going to be the end of Act 2, and that is where you'll get the achievement. Now during Act 3, you'll need to keep grinding out ships the same way as before to try to trigger the industrial action ship slash mission. You'll know because you'll get a hidden message from Lou, and that is where this mission's going to start. For Disagree and Commit, you're gonna need to complete 3 out of the 5 salvage goals during industrial action. There's also one other achievement that we're gonna need to get after this, so don't go back to your hab or save or anything like that after you start this. But basically, you'll just need to go through salvaging like normal until you hit 3 goals and the achievement will pop. Then, Alt F4 or shut down the game in some way where it doesn't have a chance to save. Then when you load it back up, you'll be able to start industrial action again and we can get solidarity forever for failing 3 out of the 5 salvage goals during industrial action. This is the easier side of this final story mission and you just have to literally fail 3 goals to get the achievement. Then go ahead and finish that mission out and afterwards you'll end up getting paid around 930 million dollars or so. If this is enough to bring your bank account up to the positive, then you'll get the best thing money can buy for fully repaying your debt. If not, and you still have a little bit to go, then just grind out a little bit more money. Then we have Act 3 Complete for completing Act 3 of the story, and See You Space Cowboy for completing Career Mode. This is essentially the same thing, you'll just need to be out of debt and finish repairing your personal ship. Then you'll have the option to just leave the salvage yard and end Act 3. And with that, we have all of the achievements in Hard Space Shipbreaker. Again. Now, if you liked 100%ing this game, you'll probably like this guide I did for High on Life as well, so go check that out.